Hello and welcome to Firewalls.com. My name is Mel DeRolf and this is an exercise showing you how to block the YouTube application using your SonicWall appliance. This is a relatively simple test that only involves a couple of steps to set up. The first thing we'll need to do is log into our SonicWall appliance by using the administrator username and password. A helpful tool to use as an administrator is the app flow monitor option in the dashboard menu. First we'll go to dashboard app flow monitor in here you can see exactly what applications are being used and by who we can see that the YouTube application is currently being used by a user we want to block this application so we first need to create a match object then we need to create an app rule to effectively block YouTube from being used by any user to do so we'll navigate over to firewall match objects we'll select add new match object for the object name we'll simply name it block YouTube for the match object type we're gonna go ahead and hit the drop down menu scroll down and select application list for the application category hit the drop down and for this one we're gonna go ahead and select multimedia and for the application we're gonna hit the drop down menu and go ahead and scroll down to YouTube select add to add multimedia YouTube to the list and select OK. Now you can see our match object for block YouTube has been created. The next step is we need to go over to app rules. Select add new policy. The policy name will simply be block YouTube. Policy type we're going to leave it as the default app control content. For address we're going to go ahead and leave it as the default any because we want to block everyone from using YouTube. The exclusion address we're going to leave as default none because we don't want to exclude anybody from this list we want everybody to be blocked from using YouTube the match object is going to be block YouTube and because the SonicWall appliance is smart enough to know that we only have one match object created it automatically populated the block YouTube match object for us for the action object we're going to select reset and drop because we want to reset and drop the connection if they try to access YouTube and then we're simply going to select OK now we can see our app rule for block YouTube has been created okay to check this we can go ahead and go out to the internet type in YouTube and we can see that this app is currently unreachable so our block is effective we hope that you found this video to be useful and if you have any questions or comments please enter them in the space below thank you and have a great day